What? God damn, I'm getting so sick of answering that question. Okay, okay, look. They're just standing there and talking, okay? That's all they're doing. That's all they ever do is just stand there and talk. That's what they were doing last week. That's what they were doing when you asked me five minutes ago. So five minutes from now, when you ask me, what are they doing? My answer is going to be, they're still just talking, and they're still just standing there. You know what? I fucking hate you. I don't know. It looks like, uh, looks like they got some kind of car down there. We better get back to base and report it. What are you complaining about, man? We're about to get a tank in the very next drop. Oh, you know what? You could bitch about anything, couldn't you? We're going to get a tank, and you're worried about chicks. What chicks are we going to pick up, man? And secondly, how are you going to pick up chicks in a car that looks like that? I don't know. I've never seen a car like that before. It looks like a uh, like a big cat of some kind. Yeah, man, there you go. You know what? I could blow up the whole goddamn world with this thing. Oh, man, listen to you. What are you going to do with two chicks? Yeah, I'll let you in on a little secret. I've, uh, I've actually got a girl back home. No, man, she's just my girlfriend, you know. We were going to get married, but... I got shipped out. Ah, you know how it works. Hey, Rookie, did you just call my girlfriend a cow? I'll tell you what, noob. I could sit out here and listen to you insult my girlfriend all day long. But as it turns out, I got a lot more important job for you to do. See, we've got this general who likes to come by and make random inspections of bases. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you go in the base and stand right next to the flag at attention just in case he decides to come by. You know, you don't sound very grateful. This is the most important job at the whole base. You're going to be right there with the flag. Oh, come on. Don't they teach you guys anything in training? Because it's the flag, man. You know, it's the, it's the flag. It's yeah. Tucker, you tell them why the flag is so important. It's just important, okay? Trust us. So when the general comes by, the first thing he's going to want to do is inspect the flag. So just... Go in there, you know, far away from us, and wait for him. Now get in there and don't come out! Man, that guy is dumber than you are. Wow, Tucker. That was a great comeback. Oh my god. What?! Tucker, I swear, I'm gonna kill him. Rookie! Shut up! Just shut up! You're driving me crazy! Get in there! <laughs> Tucker, are you laughing at me? Dear God in heaven, rookie, if I turn around and you are not inside, I, I can't be held responsible for what I'm going to do to you. One, two... Well, enough gabbing out of us. Let's take this bad boy out for a spin. Go ahead and hop in, Tucker. You're telling me you're not armor certified? No? Holy crap! Who is running this army? Yeah, okay, whatever, moron. Why would they give us a tank if nobody here knows how to drive the damn thing? Wait a second. What did he just say? Let me get this straight. You gave this guy our flag. Bad? Oh no, that's not bad. Next time he comes over, why don't you just help him blow up the whole goddamn base? Where? Oh, yeah, oh, I got him. He's sneaking around back behind the cliffs. Oh, shit. Hey, Tucker. Look at his armor. It's red. Well, that makes sense. At least now we know how he got by our defenses. Roger that. Okay. Say goodnight, Sarge. Ah, oh, crap. What? All right, that's it. I've had it. Rookie, you stay here. Me and Tucker, we'll head to the teleporter. We'll cut him off at the pass. Tucker, you ready? Let's go. Tucker, we don't have time for this. Why would they give us a teleporter if it doesn't work? We already tested the teleporter, remember? Yeah, and so what? The rocks came out the other side, didn't they? Oh, so I guess that's what this is all about then. You're afraid of a little black stuff. Tucker, I almost hate to do this to you. You know, I look at it this way. Either A, we go through there and get the flag back, or B, we stay here and I get to kill you. Either way, I win. Duly noted. Now get in there. Yeah, I've, uh, I've decided I'm not going to use the teleporter. Okay, rookie, you stay here. I'll be back with the flag. Freeze! Can it. Don't try to play stupid.
stupid with me, Sarge. I know who you are. We've been spying on you for three weeks now. Wait, but you're not the sergeant. Well, then how the hell did you manage to steal our flag? Caesar! What in the hell? Tucker? Is that you? Tucker? What the fuck are you babbling about? Red? Shut up. Tucker? Listen to me. You haven't gone back in time, okay? This is the guy that stole the flag. He's just not the sergeant. Turns out, he's just some dumb rookie who happens to have the same color armor as him. He got it somehow to... For God's sake! What is that music? Horrible! Oh, oh, run! Run! Jesus, run! Well, we'll just wait here. That thing's gotta run out of bullets sometime. My god, doesn't that thing ever run out of bullets? Hey, Tucker, what good is a tank going to do us if nobody here knows how to drive it? Well, yeah, but... Oh, man, I guess I gotta give that one to you. Hey, they stopped firing. Um, I don't know. Tucker, don't be stupid. They're just trying to draw us out. Well... I don't know about this. It seems pretty fishy, but... Alright, screw it. Let's go get it. I'm going for the Jeep. Cover me. <laughs> Son of a bitch! No kidding. Thanks for the update, Tucker. Bye. Hey, Tucker, look at this, man. It's the Rookie. And he brought the tank out to scare off the Reds. Hey, Rookie, good job, man! Why didn't you tell us you knew how to drive the tank? Yeah, that's right! It's me, Church! What's going on, man? What? Oh, son of a bitch. Tucker! Tucker! No. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna make it. Tucker, there's something I need to tell you. I just want you to know, I always hated you. I always hated you the most. Okay. Blue team, 
Flag returned. <clears throat> Sorry, that was me. I, uh, I guess I had something stuck in my throat. Your flag is back, by the way. Yeah, it's me. Hey, Caboose. Caboose, <laughs> I'm not really here to make small talk, okay? How'd you guys manage to get your flag back? Tucker, who do you think you're trying to fool? Hey, wait a second. Where's Tex? Oh, great. This is so typical. What was the one thing I told you guys the last time I appeared? Uh, what was the other one thing I told you? Right. And what did you do? And not just a little involved. How involved? Oh, well, that's just perfect. I never said I hated Tex. I just said that she was the reason why we never got married. In a nutshell, yes. That's an excellent summary. I'm pretty sure I would know if Tex was a guy. And I'm definitely sure I would know if she was part shark. Uh, because she's from Texas. Trust me, it makes sense. And you can't blame her for being so aggressive. It's not entirely her fault to begin with. Will you shut up with that? She got recruited into some kind of weird experimental program back during BASIC where they infused her armor with this really aggressive AI. I'm not really sure how it all works, but all I know is it made her meaner and tougher than hell. Artificial. Intelligence. Let's move on. Oh, hell no. She's always been a rotten bitch. It's just now she's a rotten bitch with cybernetic enhancements. So how are you doing, Caboose? Are you following any of this whatsoever? Yeah, that's right. I'm a gay robot. Well, don't worry, because I have a great plan for how we're going to rescue Tex. I just need you guys to run a distraction while I spring Tex. The way I see it, the Reds have absolutely no idea how many freelancers we have out here. So all I need from the two of you is to run around in the middle of the canyon wearing black armor while I sneak in the back of the base. Are you okay, Tucker? Does it hurt for real? Hey, Tucker, come in, man. You there? This is Church. It's working. The orange one is coming out of the base. I repeat, the orange one is coming out of the base. Okay. Did you tell him Keep that, I, that I said for me to say hi? I said, just keep moving. Oh my god. I can't believe I actually died for this war. Uh, who are you talking to, Red? Me? Oh, I, I, I'm fine. That's, I'm just so mad about these, uh, goddamn blues out here. It's like, I'm so goddamn mad, I can spit. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I did. Go ahead. Hey, man. What's up, yo? What the, why, nothing. Why would you ask if something's wrong? Yeah, well, I don't know. You're starting to act kind of suspicious there, other red guy. So, I'm keep my eye on you. Tex, it's me, Church. I've come to rescue you. What? Oh, yeah, right. The armor. <laughs> Tex, there's not much time to explain, so I'm just going to give you the summary here, okay? I'm a spirit now, and I'm trapped in the physical world. I possess this red guy so that I can sneak into the base and rescue you, while the rest of our guys run around out in the middle of the canyon dressed in black armor that they got from going to the teleporter. What? That's it? Okay. You're not surprised by any of this? Not even the whole church is a ghost thing? That didn't do anything for you? Okay, well, let me hop back in this guy and we'll get out of here. All right, I'll make one more distraction, then you run up to the teleporter and escape. Ready? One, two, three. What the? Where did my body go? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Holy cow! Would you stop yelling? I'm here. Well, that's kind of hard to explain. Um, you were shot in the head, buddy. So... Here you are. Are you dead? Well, yeah. That's how I ended up here. <laughs> am I an angel? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, actually I am. I'm an angel. Um, do you want to go to heaven? Because it's like ten bucks to get in. Oh, hey, you don't have it there, huh? Well, uh, that's too bad. Pretty crappy reason to be damned to hell for an eternity. Yeah, that's my fault too. I was sort of possessing your body at the time that you were shot. Sorry about that. Not fair? Yeah, join the frickin' club. I got shot by my own tank. Oh, haha, ha, very funny, Sheila. Shut up. You know, I still haven't forgiven you. They say you can talk to me yet. Go over there, go, get the, go over by the base. Shoot, shoot. Looks like your guys are trying to save you. He can't hear you. If he gives you mouth-to-mouth, -mouth, I'm leaving.
I'm leaving. Why wouldn't they? I mean, my team didn't, but why wouldn't yours? Oh, don't sell yourself short. I don't even know you, and here I am about to guide you to heaven for only five bucks. Because nobody rang a bell. <laughs> Seriously, do you have the money or don't you? No way! The orange guy is your son? He's what? What? No, come back! We need to even the sides! Yes, but only if you give me two dollars! I saved you from a life of imprisonment. How the hell you square with me? You know, I don't really see how not killing somebody is the same thing as doing them a favor. No, you can't! I'm already dead, bitch! I guess the joke's on you! Yeah, but nothing. He's got a point. Okay, take it easy, guys. When I was over at the Red Base, I saw that they've already got their jeep fixed. So whatever you do, don't let them see us before we get Sheila back online. I'm the one that's the least visible, so I'm gonna head up here to higher ground. I'll keep an eye on the Red Base. If I see anything, I'll let you know. That kind of defeats the purpose, Caboose. Do you even understand what the term visibility means? Seriously, you don't know what it means, do you? Caboose, just stay here, man, and try not to swallow your tongue or anything like that. Hey, Tucker! What the hell is my body still doing up here? Alright, well, let me rephrase that then. Why in the hell haven't you buried my body yet? Well, then how about shipping me back home? You know, let the loved ones pay a little respect. I am not happy about this. Oh, I see. So, that way I would be living inside of my own dead body. Unable to move. Just laying there, rotting in the sun for all eternity. Okay, Caboose. I'll be sure to get right on that. What? Tucker, the first chance we get, you are going to bury my body. It's a freaking indignity! My body fought hard for this army, and it deserves to be laid to rest. Ugh, God. How long do you figure until Tex fixes the tank? Oh, that's just fantastic. Because as soon as she gets the tank online, she's going to use it against the Reds, and they're all going to die. No, Tucker, it's not a good thing. As soon as we beat the Reds, Tex is out of here. And I still haven't figured out a way to get that AI out of her head. Shut up, Caboose. And if I don't get it out before she leaves... Right. I guess I'm gonna do the only thing that I can do. I have to warn the Reds before she fixes the tank. Sorry, guys. I don't have much choice. I'll try to help you as best I can. Good luck, guys. Hi, muchachos. Necesite darle un aviso. ¿Qué? ¿Por qué estoy hablando español? Yo no puedo hablar español. Caboose, nadie aquí está escuchando mí. No más puedo hablar español. Un tanque grande.